Ed Sheeran here on BBC Radio London with shivers. Six days now. People have been queuing for petrol, traffic jams, uncertainty. Now, reporter Valley Fontaine has spent the afternoon on Bounds Green Road in North London, where members of the public have taken it upon themselves to try and fix the congestion created by queues at their local petrol station. And let's catch up with Valley now. And Valley, just you're on Bounds Green Road today. What has been happening? Well, Jeanette, you're absolutely right. I'm on Bounds Green Road, and right now, Jeanette, it's quiet. The traffic is moving, but. The petrol station has no queues and don't bother making your way down here. The reason why there are no queues is because they've run out of petrol. Earlier on when I arrived, it was chocker. There was traffic queuing in both directions and a local campaigner, she decided, right, enough is enough. They'd have their roads blocked. You couldn't cross the road where the traffic, where the petrol station was. You couldn't cross the road with a buggy, with a wheelchair. Even just walking along on your own, you would have trouble crossing the road because it was blocked with cars queuing. And the problem with this petrol station, it's kind of diagonal to Brown, Bounds Green Primary School. And we were outside during school closing time and parents were coming out with their children and the buggies and you can imagine. So what uh, Carla did, she came down here with high-vis jackets and she had about 10 people with her and they were controlling the traffic themselves. They controlled the actual crossing with the lights because people were just parked on the crossing and they made sure people weren't able to do that and also the crossing that uh, was where the entrance of the petrol station, that was constantly blocked with cars. They also tried their hardest to keep that bit clear so the cars or rather the pedestrians would cross, but it wasn't as easy as that. There was a councillor here, his name was Justin Hinchcliffe. He's a Haringey councillor and this is what he had to say. I'm Justin Hinchcliffe. Um, I'm here uh, to support local residents and school children in particular. You're, you're a local councillor? I'm a local councillor on Haringey Council representing Fort Screen for the Lib Dems. I'm here to support local uh, residents and school children. The air quality in this part of London is already appalling. And with these monstrous jabs at our petrol stations, the pollution, of course, is getting far worse because, as you can see, these uh, vehicles are idling as they're waiting. And just opposite from here, we have a school, Bounds Green Primary School, uh, which all already suffers from the unbelievable amount of pollution that's chucked out of cars on, on this stretch of the road. Now, so the local residents have come out in their high-vis jackets and they've had to take it upon themselves to do this. They have, and uh, all power to their elbows. Um, uh, the council, uh, Haringey, has supported uh, a it's climate 17 emergency, hours. but it is missing in action. But what about this? The council, what are they doing about what we see here today? What is Haringey council doing? Absolutely nothing. Uh, to be fair to them, there's not a huge amount they can do. Uh, people must be uh, responsible, they have to rein in on their demand for petrol and for cars in general. And if, if they seriously have to wait to fill up their tanks, they need to switch off their engines. Well, we have approached Haringey Council for a statement, but we've had no reply so far yet, Valley. But I find it fascinating that this is the impact now some of the traffic jams are having in London and the residents, they just must be absolutely furious. Absolutely. If you live anywhere near a petrol station, I do feel sorry for you because, as the councillor was just saying there, everybody keeps their engines flowing and the smell, the noise, the congestion. And just the idea that if you're driving along this road and you're not even looking for petrol, you can't drive to your destination because there's so much traffic blocking the road. So it's become a really unbearable situation for many people. And you say that this particular petrol station ran out of petrol. Have you had a chance to go in and ask them how long it took from start to finish? They had, honestly, to be honest with you, I believe that this petrol station, the petrol is lasting about 24 hours at the moment. I didn't get to speak to them personally, but that's what I've been hearing as an average if you have constant traffic of people trying to queue up for petrol and this particular station only had six pumps six so it's pumps, a relatively gosh. small petrol station and this yeah. is the thing gosh it is the luck of the draw at the moment valley fontaine down there in north london for us thank you so much as she continues to 
just get a sense of what's happening out there on the roads. Um, we will have a, a travel update for you very soon. But my goodness, this is day six of the petrol situation and more and more people are beginning to get frustrated thinking that by the time Wednesday rolled around, it may have been starting to resolve itself. But as you can hear, it's moving into different territory, traffic jams and queues outside of schools, pollution. These are the things that now people are starting to report. People parking on pavements, local residents having to come out with their own placards just to say, please step off the pavement. So I guess if you're in and around any area with a traffic jam, are you being mindful? Give us a call, 0800 731 2000. I'd like to hear from you, 81333. Start your message with the word London. Did you think by the time you got to this part of the week, you'd be okay? I haven't even tried to go and get petrol. I am just not in any type of mood to be in a queue, considering some of the videos and pictures that I've seen on social media, not let alone been working on the story over the last few days.